Welcome back to Take Apart. Today we will take apart 100mm f2 USM Canon lens. It has focusing issues where it cannot fully focus or it will just stuck on a certain distance. So let's start with the four screws around the mount. This will be first step to start with process of repairing this beast of a lens. These older Canon fast primes seems to have a focusing issues all the time. Next step is to pop the inner plastic ring like so. And removing the two screws holding lens terminals on the ring. After this step the mounting ring can be fully detached. Here we have few flexi ribbon cables. Let's remove AF MF switch mechanism. You need to be careful as actual switch is easy to break. You will see what I mean. Now let's remove the ring with the window and also focusing ring. It will be cool if you can subscribe to my channel. As you can see internals looks complicated but don't worry you can do it. Let's disconnect the cables from the lens board. One has a locking mechanism and the other two you can disconnect by pulling. Lens board is held on place by this screw and rear glass element. I will remove a front of the lens held on by three screws. Once removed the front barrel will come off like so. At this stage it is a good idea to mark up the positions of internal components just in case of complications. And let's remove a front glass element held on by three screws. This part is quite heavy so be careful while removing it. And now you can see inside of the lens. This board is connected to the lens board so it needs to be unscrewed from the case. Only two screws and you can move it away. Now remove a four screws holding case on its place. Here we have a position sensor which needs to be moved. Be careful as it is connected with delicate ribbon cable. Now you can remove this ring. And next in the queue is iris mechanism. Gently pull it out with ribbon cable which goes straight to the lens board. It's stuck. So I have to unscrew the rear element and release the board. Now it will be cool if you can subscribe to my channel. Next step is to remove a 5 screws in here and the lens will fall apart. This is focusing mechanism with the lens board. As you see mechanism is working fine. So problem is inside here, in ultrasonic motor. This iris mechanism is delicate and it's better to check those four tiny wires. This can be disconnected by unlocking rear washer with spring washer on it. This is motor part following by this ring. Next step is to unlock this plastic ring and unscrewing the steel connecting part. Unscrew this hidden screw holding delicate terminals and lift it so it can be removed without damaging them. Here you can see how tiny they are. And they also are running here. Remove a plastic ring and separate it to two pieces. Clean old lubricant from all parts as that is the cause of incorrect focusing. So take your time and clean it properly. This ring has a small notch. That's the side facing ring with a focusing chart. Second ring has only one way to go. 
so make sure it is on like so. Apply some thin oil and spin them. Clean contacting points with alcohol. Here is a place for the notch, so line it up and make sure it sits properly. I bent couple of the terminals, so I have to straighten them. And clean them with alcohol. Gently slide on the ring with terminals and screw on that one hidden screw. Place in steel connecting part and screw it in. Time for locking ring and this steel ring followed by ultrasonic motor. Make sure it is on proper place. And lock it with a locking ring. Now the small white piece is going into the steel fork inside. Sometimes it's tricky to find the proper position. Once done, screw in 5 screws and test a focusing ring engaging focusing mechanism. Apply a bit of lubricant on three small runners to make sure they run smooth. Align lens board on place and screw in one screw. Holding board on its place, get microfiber cloth and clean glass element. Slide an iris ribbon cable and iris mechanism until it sits on place. Clean this ring with alcohol and place it under the sensor. And screw two screws in. Next is this spacer ring, held on by four screws. So go ahead and tighten them up. Next on cue is a small PCB held on by two screws. Now I have to unscrew lens board again and feed iris ribbon cable outside as that's the proper way it goes. Moving on the front element, make sure it's clean and three screws are tight. Now we have inner parts almost done. Clean a rear end and screw rear element on. Slide front cover on place and screw three black screws in. Perfect. Clean fingerprints from focusing chart and slide on focusing ring. It goes only one way. It's working, so slide on a cover with the window. And start connecting ribbon cables nicely one by one. Now this lens has broken AF-MF switch, that's the second issue it has. I will have a separate video on how to replace this sucker. Now I will make sure it is on AF and slide the cover on. Place mounting ring on and screw in 4 screws. Also a couple tiny ones holding the terminals on the ring. Pop black cover in by pushing it down. Lastly, clean it and we can test it. It spins nicely. Let's see how it's working on camera. So focusing on fast subject and closed one is fine. And I can repeat it without any issues. Now it will be cool if you can subscribe to my channel. Focusing through whole distance is not a problem. 
see you in the next video. Guys, I have a video about 50mm f1.4 USM Canon lens, so go ahead and check that one out.